What's going on everybody? We are back in the shop today. It is Friday, it's the weekend. Hope you all had a great week. Um, we're gonna have a crazy Friday night here in the garage working on the car. Um, I'm about to pull this thing out of the corner and uh, get to jacking it up because we have some parts that have came in. If you've watched the last couple of videos, you know that I have needed um, and have been talking about needing some shocks on this thing for a little while and they have arrived. So let's uh, let's break open this box and show you what we got. Alrighty, here they are. <clears throat> Just came in the mail today. Thanks to my buddy Ryan at Freeform Motorsports in Nampa, Idaho. Got me hooked up on some Viking Crusader series, double adjustable, uh, just standard, you know, your universal mount. Um, I couldn't do this with one hand, so I just broke open the boxes, but haven't opened them yet. It's actually the first time that I'm taking a look at them here. Got some mounting hardware. Nice. Those are going to look so much better. The car's going to perform so much better, I'm sure. <clears throat> Hopefully be doing some wheelies now. And I would guess that this was the spring here. Yeah. Sweet. Those are going to look good. I'm going to uh, look, read the directions there on how to assemble these, if I need any anti-seize on, uh, on these threads. Um, pull the car out, kind of do a quick measurement with just the shock up against the ones that are in the car to get a general idea if these ones are going to fit. I I've already measured them and sent the dimensions to Ryan, so um, and he ordered off of those. So they should fit, but I'm going to do kind of a test fit up against them to make sure. And yeah, we'll get started. Okay, so I did the first little test fit. I brought the car down. Um, I measured the ride height on each side. Left side was at 25 inches, right side 24 and three quarter. That's to the middle of the fender. Um, and I wanted to see, I read the directions and they said that Viking, or Viking recommends that you have at least 60% of your shock um, for the compression stroke. So measuring it up against what I have in the car now, um, that's about how much shock is showing at ride height and uh, see if I can do it here. If I pull it out a little bit more, it's hard to see the line, but that's where it was at. Um, I would say it's pretty close to 60% that I have there uh, of compression. So I think these should work just fine. I'm gonna jack the car up and bring the rear end down um, and make sure that these are long enough that way just for you know simply putting them on. Um, see if I have enough length here, which I think I should. So uh, we're gonna do that next. So it looks like these Vikings are actually a tad bit shorter. I know it's kind of hard to tell, maybe half an inch or something like that, which I don't think is the biggest deal. I can just, I can lift up the rear end a little bit when I'm putting these in and um, I won't need, I won't need any more than that extension ever so we should be good all right and these look like they're going to work so i'm going to go ahead and coat the threads and anti-seize and then also coat the threads on the lock nuts um, and then i did get the uh, the thrust bearing kit as well so i won't put anything on the bearing but i'll anti-seize the both sides of the washers there um, and get to putting these things together Alrighty, I got both shocks built here. I anti-seized the whole body, all the threads, um, the lock nut, the spring nut. These did come with the thrust uh, wash or the thrust bearing kit as well. So I anti-seized both sides of the washers that go on each side of the the thrust bearing there and got them adjusted right about the same uh, height right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these old shocks off. Go ahead and pull those off, throw the new ones on, and I believe the hardware that's on those shocks are gonna work with this one. Um, I could, I had a little bit of bolt sticking through on the on the stock ones, um, and it fits through the new, fits through the new rod ends. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys removed, and we'll go from there. 
All right, got it all finished up. New shocks are installed. Here's the old ones here. I think these have definitely seen some better days. The first thing I noticed, and I, I think I have a picture I can show you, but when these were on the car sitting at ride height, there was maybe only about that much of rod showing. Um, you know, maybe two and a half inches or so of compression and there's no adjustments on these. So I don't even know if there's oil in these things. Uh, so there was no compression at all. You could press down on the back of the car and you could hear it bottoming out. Um, and I think that's what was causing a lot of my issues last year. The car would launch, it would squat and bottom out and it would just, you know, put the front end back down and just wasn't making for smooth launches at all. So these should definitely be a big upgrade. Um, go under here and I'll show you. There is, sitting at ride height, a lot more shock showing here. A lot more travel. Um, and the one thing that I noticed was when I would jack the car up with the rear end, um, the shock would go up and it wouldn't even bottom out, you know, it wouldn't bottom out before it started lifting the rear end of the car up. So there's actually some compression in these shocks. So yeah, these things should work a lot better. They look a lot better. I wish I had some silver NICs, but I'll just get these where I want them and uh, just clean those up a little bit. I do have the car set at ride height how I want it. I got the car at 25 inches on this side and 25 inches on the passenger side, so it's sitting level. And yeah, I'm excited. I hope these things work a lot better. I'm sure they will. They certainly look a lot better under there. I'm gonna get some matching ones from the uh, for the front. Some double adjustables for up there and I'll keep you guys updated on how these things work out, but I'm sure you'll see just at the beginning of the season how much better they're gonna be. So that's gonna be it for this weekend. I'm gonna get some front shocks ordered from Ryan as well. And yeah, definitely some more stuff to come. Stay tuned and thank you guys for watching. We'll see you later.